Hi there, it's Tyler from Millie Security. In today's video, we're going to learn how to make our own network cables using this 1,000 foot pull box of solid copper installer grade network cables, these RJ45 pass-through connectors, and this modular crimping tool. Now running and making your own cables may sound scary at first, but using these tools, which all come included in our IP security camera kit, makes it super easy. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is strip back this cable and reveal the twisted pairs inside. To do that, there's this little hole here on the modular crimping tool. Stick the cable in, squeeze it tight, twist it around a little bit, and then just pull that off. Now underneath there, you can see that we have four twisted pairs and this string. Now you'll want to examine these conductors carefully to make sure that you didn't nick any of them while stripping the cable. If you notice that you did nick any of these, you can always use this little string here to pull back on the cable and reveal more of these twisted pairs. All right, now we're just going to unravel these twisted pairs so that we have eight individual copper wires. You can straighten these out. And now we're just gonna get these colors in the proper order, which left to right should be orange stripe orange, green stripe blue, blue stripe green, brown stripe brown. All those are where they need to be. Simply take your RJ45 connector and slide it over the top. And once those are pushed through, make sure that the color is all where they need to be. Orange stripe orange, green stripe blue, blue stripe green, brown stripe brown. Perfect. And then just push that connector all the way down on top of the cable, as far down as it'll go. Now once you have your connector on there, just take your crimping tool and stick it into the eight pin slot. Then once it's in there, just squeeze. Crimp it all the way down. You can see it cuts off the wires for you. Then simply release the crimp tool, pull your cable out, and congratulations, you just made your very own network cable. All right, now once you repeat that same process for the other side, and we now have two ethernet connectors here on either side of the cable, we're gonna wanna test these. We really don't wanna get these all set up and installed where they're supposed to go, plug everything in, turn everything on, and realize that there's a problem. So we are going to test these now, just to make sure that we crimped them correctly, that all the colors are in the right order, and everything's good to go. To do that, we're going to use this network cable tester, which also comes included in the IP security camera starter kit. This thing is super simple and really can save you from a lot of headaches later down the road. All right, and here's how it works. Here we have the main body, which is actually battery powered. So when you turn it on, it gets its power from the battery. And then it has both BNC and RJ45 connections here. The other side, this is the remote, also has a BNC and RJ45 ethernet connections. But there is no battery on this side, so the only way it can get power is if it's receiving power from this piece. And that's ultimately how we know that our cables are working if it's able to transmit power from the battery operated piece to the remote piece. All right, now to test this ethernet cable here, I'm just going to plug one end into the main body and I'll plug the other end into the remote piece. Switch the tester on. Now you'll see that now we have these green lights showing up, one through eight. Uh, this represents each pin in the ethernet connector, each of those eight conductors. Now this is exactly what we want to see. We want to see all the lights lighting up green at the same time. So when the one is lit up on the main body, we want to see the same one lit up on the remote. Now let me show you a couple of examples of what we don't want to see. Now in this example, you can see that all of the lights are still turning green, just not at the same time. Now this is going to give us a little bit of issues because it means that both sides of the cable are not the same. The fourth and the sixth pins are swapped. Here's another example of what we don't want to see. Do you notice how the second pin does not light up? 
This means there's some kind of issue or some kind of short with the second conductor, and this ethernet cable will not work. When you come across a situation like this, if the lights are swapped, or if one light doesn't come on, or maybe some of the lights are turning red, no problem. All you need to do is take your crimp tool, put the cord in this yellow plastic piece right here, squeeze all the way down, and there you go. Your cable is as good as new. You're ready to start over with the new connector and try one more time. Measuring and running your own cables and putting the connectors on yourself is always a preferable option to using pre-made cables. The reason why is pre-made cables are often too short or too long and they're not as good quality. Running and cutting bolt cable and making the connections yourself will make your installation more attractive, more professional, and much higher quality. Again, if you want to learn more about the tools that I used in this video, click the link below to check out our complete IP security camera starter kit. It comes with a thousand feet of this cable, a hundred of these connectors, this crimping tool, this uh, network cable tester. It also comes with four awesome 4 megapixel turret cameras, an 8 channel NVR with a 2 terabyte hard drive. It really is a great option if you're looking to install a complete security system yourself. If you have any questions at all about that IP security camera system or about crimping your own cables, please give us a call or send us an email. Our techs are always ready to help you with whatever you need. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome surveillance content like this. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you next time.